have you ever heard of Margarita Burn? I bet you didn't know that this little guy could literally cause this much of a problem, did you? Well, this is my lime right from my refrigerator. This little guy can actually do this. I'm gonna explain what in the world is going on here. We are talking about something really, really interesting, I think, today called margarita burn. That is right. If it sounds like margarita, if you're like margarita, the drink margarita, yes, I'm talking about margaritas. Uh, and limes, um, mm -mm, giving you a hint. Uh, anyway, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Let's get back to some pictures, okay? This little guy causing um, this. Oh, and there's also this photo as well. So you're saying, what is going on here? Well, beware of the lime juice in the sunlight. <laughs> the juice of a lime, if it gets on your skin and comes in contact with light, Mm -hmm. It's all it takes is some UVA rays can actually cause something like this, okay? This is actually what we call margarita burn. And you're saying, why do we call it margarita burn? Well, it's because oftentimes when we're making margaritas, well, we do it all year round, right? But in the summertime, uh, when it's warm, if we are making margaritas using a little bit of lime, we tend to see this rash more than other times because the juice from this lime can literally get on your skin, react with sunlight, UVA rays, and cause this type of a rash that I'm describing. Now you're saying, what's going on? Why is this happening? Why have I never heard of it? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I got the details for you. So first of all, uh, the medical term is phytophotodermatitis. And phyto means plant, photo means light, dermatitis means inflammation, okay? And in this situation, we're talking about inflammation of the skin. Basically, uh, certain chemicals from plants or plant-like substances, such as limes, can actually cause this type of reaction. It's not actually that uh, just limes that, that, that could potentially do it. Celery might do it. Wild parsnip might do it. Parsley. Some, some groups and uh, medical organizations even say lemons might do it. But limes are a big culprit that we see a lot of the time. What happens is you are out there chilling and grilling, you are making, mixing your margaritas, the juice of the lime, you know, when you're squeezing or whatever, may slide a little bit down on your wrist, what have you. It gets in contact with the light and over time you get a rash that could particularly look like this. Now, what's going on? All right, so basically, there's a chemical reaction that happens when the chemical in the juice or the sap from the plant um, comes in contact with UVA rays. This chemical reaction then uh, sort of elicits a skin reaction, usually eight to 24 hours after the person's been in contact with like the juice of the lime or whatever it is. Now, as you can see in these photos, this does not look pretty, does it? Mm -mm. Doesn't look pretty to me. The rash can be uncomfortable, definitely. It can, it can be painful. Uh, it can be sort of a burning rash, kind of looks like that, right? Red. There could be sort of pustules or streaks. Um, there could be vesicles or blisters. Um, and actually you can get what we call post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. That is darkening of the skin where the rash has happened. After the rash sort of resolves, you can get sort of that darkness. So what's the moral of this story? Is it to stay away from limes? Heck no. Is it to stay away from margaritas? That is not what I'm saying. Um, it is to be thoughtful about, you know, coming in contact with limes, lime juice, and perhaps the juice of some of the other items I mentioned when you're out in the sun. Uh, you can still have your limes and do all that stuff, but if you're making a margarita or something with limes, what you want to make sure you're doing is, well, first of all, we should always be wearing sunscreen. I'm holding this lime for dear life now, aren't I? <laughs> We should always be wearing sunscreen. But the other thing is make sure if you get um, the juice of a lime or anything on your hands, make sure you wash it off. Yes, wash your hands, okay, before you sit out in the sun, which I hope you don't, by the way, skin cancer, um, premature signs of aging, you know. Did you know that something such as a lime could cause so many potential problems? Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos on all sorts of things, limes included, uh, and rashes. Please let me know if this was uh, new to you or not. Please subscribe to my channel, click the little bell, and uh, stay tuned for updates. Oh, and guys, check out my website at drjencoddle.com. All right, beware of the lime juice in the sunlight. <laughs> all right, guys, love y'all, bye.